sunset, the time of day when most Canadians bring home the bacon. And one Canadian brings home the ham. The Canadian is Dudley Do-Right, ace do-gooder of the mounted police. The ham, and he's usually boiled, is that arch-villain and scourge of two continents, Snidely Whiplash. Each day at sundown, Dudley brings Whiplash into the post and places him under lock and key. This is a waste of my time, Do-Right. Each night you lock me up, and each morning I escape. You shall not escape tonight, Whiplash. Dudley's optimism was based on the fact that he had set up an elaborate alarm system completely encircling the cell. He made one slight error. He locked himself in the cell, not Whiplash. That's hard, do right. But on his way to the gate, Whiplash ran into trouble, for Dudley's horse, angered at finding water in the water trough, lashed out his great hooves in anger, striking a not-too-innocent passerby. One hour later, Inspector Fenwick, post commander, made a routine check of the jail. Ah, do right. Still up, I see. Yes, sir. I am keeping a vigil on whiplash. That's doing it the Mountie way, my boy. I must get him out of my slick down hair once and for all. Pen in hand, whiplash outlined a daring plan. Here is the post. Up here is my sawmill. If I can lure do right to the mill, I can destroy him forever. But how to lure him? Those evil eyes darted about the room until... To knell with love. Horse. Egad, that's it! This time he went in search of Dudley's horse. <laughs> Once again he received a well-placed hoof, but he was prepared for it. And up he soared, out of the post. Do right, I don't know how he did it, but Whiplash has escaped. Are you sure, sir? I mean, have you looked in his cell? You look do right. By George, you're right, sir. He is missing. But never fear, I will bring him in. Again. At that very moment, his valiant charger was gobbling up a trail of oats that led to Whiplash's sawmill. Ah, here comes the horse. Step number one in my plan. And what a plan it was. The horse walked right into the trap and was made prisoner. And who will come after the horse? Not Dudley. He was having trouble locating the stable. Ah, Fairnell, have you seen the stable lately? No, I haven't, Dudley, and I can't help you look for it. I have a luncheon engagement with your horse. Oh? Say, after lunch, would you ask him to saddle up? I have a job to do. Nell was on her way to the PX when she spied some familiar hoof prints. Dudley's horse! I'd know them anywhere! And off she went in hot pursuit. Aha! Step number two. The fair and lovely Nell is approaching. Nell, too, fell victim to Whiplash's terrible design. And who will come after Nell? Not Dudley. He was still searching for the stable. Pardon me, Inspector, but I seem to have misplaced the stable. No time to help you do, right? I'm due to make a speech at lunch. With Nell and my horse? Yes. Inspector Fenwick scurried off. Then he, too, spotted the telltale tracks. That horseshoe print with a broken nail, that's Nell's left foot. By three in that afternoon, Whiplash had in his power Dudley's horse, Nell, the inspector, and most of the Mounties in the general area. What's keeping that dole do right? He should have been here long ago. In case you're wondering, Dudley had found the stable. He was now looking for a way to get out of it. There must be a door somewhere. There was. It opened and in walked a messenger boy. You constable do right. I think so. Dudley took the telegram and ripped it open. Dear Dolt, can't spell Dudley. Unless you come to my sawmill, I shall blow up Nell, the inspector, your fellow Mounties, and your horse. My horse! He arrived at the sawmill in jigsaw time. And you will let my horse go free if I surrender to you? Everybody goes free. The exchange was made. Inspector Fenwick, Nell, and the Mounties bid a tearful farewell and returned to the post. As for Dudley, he was tied to a chair, a chair infested with sticks of dynamite. Do right, you'll never do right again. A match was struck, the fuse was lit, and whiplash dashed off over the horizon. Daddy, dear, don't keep looking out the window in the direction of the sawmill. It can't help. I know it, Nell. It's only do right we're losing, and yet... Well, there he goes. Just then, the door burst open and... It is me! I, sir! Dudley! Do right! I fooled him, Inspector. I made him think I blew up. But how? With this record. It has 33 and a third long playing explosions on it. He only heard an explosion. But the stick of dynamite. Don't worry about that, sir. I have them here. Do right! Come down here! 